crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh man. Hey guys. Hey. Welcome back. Lava lamp is um, set up, but still no movement in the wax. I will update you throughout the episode. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm glad we made a priority out of the the lava lamp. All right, just to update you guys, um, still no movement in the wax. Will right. you chill out <laughs> with the lava lamp? It's not gonna happen, bro. <laughs> not th not right now, at least. Not in the episode. <sighs> what? I don't know. It just. I had those three on, those three lights on, and then I turned them off, and it's just really freaking dark in here all of a sudden. <laughs> it's not that dark. I feel like it is. Uh, it, by comparison, yeah. Yeah. I've got way too many lights in here. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I want to plug that other lamp in. I only have uh, one. I, I called my mother. She's very busy with work. Now I'm worried about her. Oh, jeez. Yeah. She's in America, apparently. Oh. Uh, how are your parents doing? They're too busy to love me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Seems like there are no problems. <laughs> jeez. Yeah, so... I... I find it very funny how the first part of the Digimon game doesn't really focus too much on Digimon. Yeah, it's more about your life. And... About being a detective. I mean, okay, it's it's fine, it's whatever. Uh, it's uh, not really a thing. I mean, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is more about Charlie, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is more about Willy Wonka. That's true. Fun fact. Oh no. I just remembered that Gene Wilder died and now I'm sad. <laughs> Which one was Gene Wilder? Uh, I'm, I'm original, sorry, I'm bad with names. He's the original Willy Wonka. Oh. Uh, and uh, Young Frankenstein. And he was one of the guys in Blazing Saddles, if you ever saw that. I haven't seen that. Alright. Did you ever see Robin Hood Men in Tights? Is that the comedic version of Robin Hood? Yes. I want to say yes. I think he was in that. <laughs> There's a strong possibility that he was there. So you now we're in like, a... What? Oh, sorry. Go I ahead. was going to say, you sound like Zap Brannigan. <laughs> <laughs> there was a strong possibility that he might have been there. <laughs> so now we're in a different part of the city. Shinjuku. Yeah, we're in Shinjuku. And it's oh, rat is that Blue Box? It's Sandals. Rattata Sandals? Yeah, there we go. Rattata. Yeah, he's glad to see that we're safe. This is basically the gist of it. <laughs> You're holding him back. <laughs> like, oh my god. Yeah, he he's a jerk. Dude needs to chill out. He does need to chill out. He's very, like, angsty. Teen, and he wants to be your friend, but then he also, like, wants to get stronger. Oh, yeah. And so he's just like, I want to be your friend, but in the search for power, I can't be your friend, so fuck you. I bet he's got a Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> like, the character or like the, he the himself, or like he himself created his own Tumblr, just like mm, about his oh, angst and stuff no, like that. No, he himself, yeah, he's got a Tumblr. <laughs> and on top of that, he probably also has a live journal. And... <laughs> Like, dear diary, today. <laughs> you know what's weird? Okay, just just a little, like, observation that I've noticed. It's... We've circled back around to where I think hipsters might start using MySpace again. Oh, God, no. Because, like, it's a, it's a music site now. Is it? Yeah, it's still up. And it's like a, a place specifically for musicians. Like that's what they're for now. And um, that's weird. Yeah, I I went I went to MySpace a couple weeks ago. How'd that turn out? It was just weird because it's like they're still acting like they're the biggest media social media on the planet. And I'm you like, you got me kidding. <laughs> Cause they're like, yeah, MySpace, whoa! And it's, it's like, like they, you guys, it's like they haven't been let in. All <laughs> like, oh no, you guys suck. Like nobody told Tom. <laughs> they're like, what? What are you talking about? We're we're amazing. 
we're MySpace. You guys love MySpace. <laughs> They're like, oh, God, Tom, baby, sit down. We, we need to have a talk. Mark Zuckerberg is over in the corner, and he's like, shh, just, just let, him, let him have this, okay? They're like, what, what, is he, what, what is he doing here? They're like, no, nah, just, just, just ignore him. He's, he's fine. Um, but, uh, but I feel like we're going to get to a point in a couple years where, like, the hipsters are going to start using MySpace, and then people are going to be like, hey, yeah, MySpace, I remember MySpace. Or even, like, the younger people that were never on MySpace were like, hey, guys, I found this new website where we can all go and not have to deal with our parents being on it because, you know, like, Facebook, like, what? And so then, like, kids are going to start going to MySpace, and then the adults are going to move over to MySpace, and then the college students are going to stay to Facebook, but then they might move over to MySpace because their parents are going to be like, did you see this funny thing on MySpace? space right and it's just gonna like i feel like we're gonna end up in this you know how there's the business cycle where it's like you go up and you get to the top and then you go down and then you get to the bottom you know what i'm talking about like you have like your troughs and then you have your prosperous times Mm -hmm. we're gonna have that but like the top is gonna be facebook and the bottom bottom is gonna be myspace and it's just gonna be this constant circulation for the rest of humanity (laughs) So it's always going to be between MySpace and Facebook. Yeah. And Twitter will die out somewhere in between all of that. Well, Twitter's going to be like the happy medium. Oh, the happy medium? Yeah. What about Instagram? Uh, well, nobody cares about Instagram. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, man, there's too many social medias at this point. I've got... Do you think Tell Snapchat's me... going to la- take gonna last? Oh, yeah. I think Snapchat's on the rise, bro. It's on the rise? Yeah. I use my Snapchat way too much. I think I'm hilarious on Snapchat. <sighs> Everyone thinks they're hilarious on Snapchat. Are you, is it going to bother you if I put my Snapchat like in the description? <laughs> Go for it, buddy. I mentioned that in the I last episode. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? <laughs> uh, something flew out the window. Do you want to know what it is? Um, A bird? It's my fuck. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was that bird that I was keeping trapped in here. Nah, I, I Is can't. he still around here somewhere? Nah, he, he left, bro. He no. flew out the window with my fuck. Ah, oh, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was going to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a chicken from Wingstop. It was it's missing half its feathers. That's how you know it's good. It was like all mangy. Like, that's how you know it's got like oh, that extra God. flavor. What? Mm. Ugh. Delicious. Bro, Wingstop's my addiction. Wingstop? Wingstop. Uh, I don't think I've ever had Wingstop. Bro, I need to take you to Wingstop. <laughs> Wait, is that where you where you and your dad always get wings? Yeah. Okay, I've had a little bit of Wingstop. It's fucking delicious. <laughs> you know what other chicken place is also really good? What? But I've never actually been there. I've just had food from there. What? Hooters. I, I need to go to... We need to go to Hooters together. I've never actually been, but um, they brought Hooters food to my job. Like, they were like, hey, everybody, there's Hooters over in the other room. Oh, yeah. And, of course, some of the guys were like, whoa, did they bring the girls? <laughs> no, but they brought your boss, apparently. <laughs> you want to talk about that for a little um, bit? Um, no. Yeah. Let's not. It's not like she watches the show. No, let's not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I won't talk about your hot boss and. <laughs> Let's not. I I it I've seen a picture of his boss and she is a very attractive woman. And but every in, but, other male at that office will agree with you. But it's much more in this. But I find her more. I find her attractive in the sense of like most women are attractive. That are like pretty i mean everyone's beautiful that's true like i i don't actually think i've ever seen a person i am partial to brunettes that's you know every everybody has like their taste Mm -hmm. where they're like this is the kind of person that i want to be with for the rest of my life because i will never like tire of looking at this you know or at her him or them uh but like everyone's beautiful I've never actually looked at a person and been like, you're really ugly. Unless I had started talking to them and they had a really bad personality. If you've got a bad personality, like... You're, you're automatically ugly. You're automatically, like, I stop seeing you as attractive. Right. 
Like, we could be, like, I could walk up to you and I'll be like, hey, you're really pretty. And then you start saying, like, make America great again. And I'll be like, nope. And I'll walk away. <laughs> yeah, Chris is more, like, Chris is, uh, in all honesty, I'm more particular about what I find <gasps> attractive. Yo, guys, there's movement in the lava lamp. Will you not? <laughs> Can you not? I'm going to take a picture of this. Carrie, put this picture up. Please don't, Carrie. Oh, God, it's up. Oh, it's so oh, ugly. Oh, man. It's great. Oh, jeez. Oh, look, one of them's moving. Please oh, don't. Oh, look. All right. I'm done with the lava lamp. <laughs> Are you? No. <laughs> Yeah, I expect more of the lava lamp in future episodes, <laughs> apparently. That that's that's here forever. It's here to stay. So it's it's like a mascot on top of all the actual cats. <laughs> on top of the cats and on top of Carrie mm. and on top of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh but I guess we don't count just cause like my face has been on Twitter before, but I don't think we've ever shown you. Uh, so. there was that one picture. That we, oh, the one uh, of us at the museum? Yeah. With the, the giant pot? Yeah. The picture that we took at 420 with yeah. the giant pot? Yeah. <laughs> it was the one where my eyes were closed. I didn't realize your eyes were closed, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm. I think it was really bright in there or something, I don't remember. It's just bad timing. It always seems to just be bad timing when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah, that's fair. Um, where the heck am I supposed whoa. to go? That looks really cool. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go, and I think I've spent this entire episode trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. That's okay. There's no because... rumors on me. I better go ask a little more. I've talked to everybody. Wow, she's really, like, full of herself. <laughs> like, nobody's talking about me? That's a little weird. <laughs> I've talked to everybody here. Where am I supposed to go? Did you say that, um, like, okay, let's let's actually talk about the game for a second, because we've got a couple minutes left. All right. So did you say that the person that we're walking around as is not actually our physical body, but that's like our avatar? Yeah. So our avatar is in the real world, and we had to go find, like, the parts of, like, our real body to, like, coat the avatar... But we, we had to find pieces of our avatar. Where is our real body? It's in the hospital. Remember whenever oh, you saw? Oh, right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Sorry, my bad. No, it's fine. That's weird. Where, where am I supposed to go? I've talked to everybody. Like this is really trippy to think about. Like, what if your MySpace page just got up and started walking <laughs> around? <laughs> That, there's kind of like a movie based with a similar, like, idea on is there? that. What is it? It's, uh, it's, uh, Bad Johnson. I've never heard of it. It's, I've never seen it. Because the <clears throat> idea of the, the idea of it kind of just looks stupid to me. And it's basically, it is not exactly the same as what this is. But it kind of has, like, a similar idea of what it is. Right. Basically, a guy just likes having sex a lot. And then one day, he wakes up and he doesn't have a penis anymore. But his penis became its own individual being. Interesting. Yeah. Have you ever heard of The Killer Condom? No. There's a German horror movie called The Killer Condom. And basically... It's this, that. This guy is about to sleep with his student, and then this condom, he puts on a condom, and it um, bites it off, and then it happens to many other people. The condom bites off his penis? Yes. So it's just like one, just one condom being spread around to, oh, the episode's ending. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> well, we'll talk about it next time on Popcats, and next time on Popcats, I'll find out where we're supposed to go. Later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, you should hit that like button. And the subscribe button. And you should also check out some of our other videos on the channel. And be watching out for new videos coming out soon. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, see you later guys. Meow.